so anyway, we got Monk. He's playing Undead. Uh, he's a random player. So he kind of just like every week he was in last season, every week he just picks a race. He doesn't tell us ahead of time. He's just a random player. He sees what the other race is and then he goes, I'm going this race. And then he trains. He trains like crazy, like 50 games a week. Maybe, and it's not on ladder. That's why he's a fifteen hundred MMR. He's never played, at least on this name. I don't. He might have a Smurf, but he's fifteen hundred because he's never touched uh, War, uh, Warcraft Three champs ladder, at least with solo. So he's probably about seventeen hundred ish. Penguin, on the other hand, right now he just dipped below sixteen hundred. However, at the beginning of the week, he was sitting at sixteen fifty. Um. But I know he's nervous because this is what Monk does. He is crazy. He trains very hard for one specific matchup over and over and over. And it's not just versus random people. It's people like Hubert, Paz, others. Uh, you know, like if it's versus an orc, he'll pull out Black Phoenix. So I'm curious to see what's going to happen. Um, we all know that... Uh, well, not all of us, but Monk's been... Beating some people with CL. And Penguin knows that as well. I think Monk picked this map though. So I don't think he would have picked it if he wanted to go CL. So we're going to be seeing probably DK. FS Grunt out of Penguin. Okay. I mean, you could go CL. There is some builds with that, but it's usually yeah, DK. So we're going to see how his DK um, play is. I know a lot of people have been saying that his CL play is extremely scary and it beats people's orcs. You know, they're off race, but still Qbert's orc and whatnot. So we're going to have to see how that goes. I don't know what the other maps are. All right. So this was already kind of a bad creep by Penguin. I don't know what... He's getting a tavern, but he is taking a ton of damage on his hero. He could have uh, pulled the camp out a little bit so that the grunt could continue hitting it, but he didn't. And we see over here, Monk is pulling the creep. He's just going, you know, um, standard fast fiends. Philbot fiends. Which is really cool that Philbot's playing again. Quietly, but he's around. All right, so no early harass, anything like that. You know, you can see over here, neither of them scouted. So Penguin doesn't know if it's CL or what. I mean, he knows it's Concealed Hill, so it's less likely it's going to be a CL play. But you couldn't totally rule that out. Going for his own expo? Okay. This is, uh... I mean, it's gonna work, you know. He still doesn't know that it's Fast Fiends. As far as I, re I... I haven't seen anything go across, so... He should get away with this pretty easy. He can take both of these grunts if he wants. You know, doesn't even need more healing salves. He just walks over here. And Monk doesn't have anything over here to wake up the creeps. So as long as he doesn't lose these grunts, he's fine. But the Spear Wolves are about to run out. I think he's moving his FS forward to take some of the shots. And Penguin's just going in with the Expo. So, I don't know. I don't, Well, Monk is going to scout this probably right away. But it's a good idea he knows he needs to surprise monk he's got to do something monk's not used to because monk is a grinder i keep saying that he grinds he grinds he grinds so i don't think he sees this too often at all this is not a standard play plus it got him level three which is really freaking nice level two wolves do a lot more he is getting closer to level three himself with the dk which is a big power spike but now the FS comes across, and now he's going to be more of a pain in the butt. He's going to buy himself time to get this expo up. Damn it, Phoenix. You just played this 
versus Monk. Go figure. Like I said, Monk's played 50 games, so I guess eventually someone has to play this versus him. He could have actually killed that um, if he had used Chain Lightning for it. I do believe that Fiend would have gone down. I haven't seen Monk scout this yet, though. He might know from the items, you know, the Crystal Ball. It only comes really from one place on this map. Well, two places. Here or here. So he should know, but he doesn't know for sure. Once again, got the pressure. These wolves, they can... They're a pain in the butt. Down here, we have... Uh, okay, got DR second. I was going to say, when's the Lich coming? There is no Lich. SH coming out. It's about three-fourths of the way done. And we just got a tech to tier three. Okay. He still doesn't know about it. I keep saying that, but... I don't know. Like, maybe Phoenix's game will stick in his mind and be like, there's probably an expo going on. Maybe that's why he went with the DR. I, DR is usually something you want to push. But he's not. I mean, he's teching. He's not getting an early statute or anything like that. And now he... he's <laughs> Jesus. He just canceled the tech. This is amazing for Penguin. Penguin's playing this very well. Hopefully he got... Nope. Oof. He almost got that one last accolade. If he can grab one more, that's great. But at this point, he's already accomplished what he wants. He just doesn't want to die. Just don't die. Please don't die. He might die. Okay, good. Slightly close there. And meanwhile, all this is happening. Hex on the Magi... Ogre Magi, and he should be leveling up nicely as a result of this. Getting off one more Crystal Ball uh, at the Expo. Probably wants to see where Monk is going. He knows that this is already crap, so it's either he's going to go this way, or he's going to try and take the red, or he's going to go right at him. So now he knows. A little cocky here. I get. Well, I guess he was waiting on all five healing salves, but he hasn't healed up his hero yet. And he's about to run at Monk, who has a level two coil and a hundred mana. This could be bad. All right, so Raider Grunt, pretty old school thus far. I mean, it's a little different given that it's an FS and an Expo, but Unit comp. This tower is not unkillable just yet, but it's certainly going to be a pain in the ass. These skellies are very nice. That's why he took this camp over here. The FS is back at full life, thank God. All right, so Monk has enough for one more coil. However, he can suck some mana and get about 100 mana in total from that one item. Wanda man is stealing. So this is all right, um, but Penguin just kind of wants to buy a little bit of time during all this. And Monk is now attacking again. He's almost tier three, not tier three yet. Penguin's correctly ignoring the Skellies and going straight at. Nice. He's got to watch for the burrow. He now knows there's burrow. He does have this one item that most people sell, but it's going to come in useful here. Or could have come in useful here. He might consider not selling it for a little while, use that. But he also has plenty of gold. He could sell it while he's still under 50 food for full value and get dust instead. But, um, yeah. All right, about to hit tier three. He can get his third hero. So now the question is, what does Monk want to do? You know, Monk admittedly probably is the higher MMR player, but it is undead versus orc. 
or can feel very and i'm biased yes i know or it can feel very very oppressive to undead players and especially when they do something you're not exactly sure about you don't know the proper response and i think that's what's just been happening here so we're gonna have to see if monks uh i would say mmr advantage can you know like or experience can ship the tide or what should get an orb right it's waiting on the gold there you go the shredder was nice you know he was running out of wood he had to remake the burrow over here he had pull off some i mean he got an early expo he needed it so this is let's see this is the type of fight okay good he's just backing up again i'm not you know not biased at all he should just get out he does have speed scroll you might consider just using it you don't really want to fight that orb just yet he's not getting a third hero kind of expected a third hero not gonna lie i was gonna say you know okay he's got an expo he's getting his third hero wait there you go wait for it to come out that was definitely a late getting the third hero and suddenly monk has a little bit more of a timing and he's getting blocked by this chicken chicken's coming in big he can just keep uh poking away luckily don't get surrounded luckily monk's only level one on his lich so he doesn't have frost nova yet just frost armor so not bad however the expo almost up down here grabbing some items probably he'll grab the invul pot Okay, no, he needed a TP, and he's also trying to get this up at the same time, so. I don't think Penguin knows about this expo at the moment. He might be guessing, but he doesn't know. TC is now out. It's already taken 200 damage, though, and... You know, I'm so used to reinforced defense from orcs. It's so weird to see Burrows actually able to be killed. Monk's coming. Okay, he's got Berserker, but he... Penguin, I should say, has Berserker, but only two of them. Coming around from behind. He can get a nice stomp. He's just aiming the DK, which probably is not the right plan. And now you got the Destroyers coming out. That's always a pain in the butt. But, um... It's not the biggest deal. Nice stomp. He's got to eat something with these Kodos, though. Eat them. There you go. Suddenly, a lot less units on the field. Just don't lose the hero. Don't lose it. Don't lose the Kodo. His base build is kind of blocking him a little bit over here. And Monk goes in, grabs his... Oh, no. I was going to say, he might not get out. I don't know... If ensnares on cooldown, or if he just... He should notice. But he's not bringing his heroes. That was almost horrible for Monk. But Monk's going to get away with it, I think. So suddenly... You know, I was talking about such a great start for Penguin. You know, he had level 3 hero, the DK was still only level 2, he had an expo up, all of these things. And suddenly now it's 4-3, almost level 2 Lich on one side to a 3, almost level 3 SH and TC with nothing at the moment. Monk doesn't have any items. They are fighting right outside the shop, which has plenty of things. Oh no. Silence, and that's a DK dead. He could buy items. Either side could buy items right now. Um, Penguin especially has plenty of gold. And that is the power of Silence. He was going to come in with the TC, but just couldn't. He's not really microing back these uh, Crypt Fiends, though. So, the one with Frost Armor is nice, but... The rest of them as well. And 
Once again, Penguin has Kodos, or at least a Kodo, and he's not using it to eat one of these fiends, which is really just kind of a waste. I mean, it's good for the aura buff, but you really want that swing of three food just disappearing. Lucker, I'm not even going to respond to that one. Yeah, he has one Frost Tower, but it is killable. We all know it. It just takes a whole army to kill it. So one of the big things about killing this TC at level 1 is it's just it's never going to level. Like, there's just not much left on the map now. There's just the reds. And I'm saying just the reds, but they're going to be contested. It's going to be very hard to take. And he's still level 1. 1 1.1. Make matters even worse. And Okay, I was going to say, I don't even know if he remembers it sitting here. You really want level 3 on that TC. He's not getting it. He's definitely not getting it unless he starts killing a lot of monk stuff. And suddenly, well, not too suddenly, I said it earlier, it's looking great for monk. He definitely, I don't think, responded correctly at the start in how he dealt with the early expo, but he's been able to claw his way back in for sure. And he even gets out, doesn't lose that fiend. He is now at least, uh, you know, it kind of sucks. You're using huge invul on a level one hero, but he realizes he really needs these stomps. And now we got A-bombs out. That's always, it's, you always feel like you really want to get an A-bomb out. You know, like you want something in front of your fiends and then it gets eaten by a Kodo. And you're like, this is the stupidest thing I've ever done, but I don't know. If it works, it's going to work, right? DK does now have the invul pot. There's not much to say. I mean, they're both just... It's like a standstill the whole time. And oh, no. Not anymore. Penguin does have a TP on his SH. So he can get out. And I think Monk knows. He now has the bubonic plague. Oh no. He's just getting out. Disease cloud. Kind of annoying. Now he's going to get the red himself. He didn't get the item. Unfortunately. Let's see what crazy. Probably game flipping item. It'll be. Even though it's not really flipping. But. Let's see. I can't even see it. Good. I mean, it's not bad, but it's not going to be like Brilliant Sora or something. So, it's kind of weird to see, but the Undead has more upgrades than the Orc. Usually, you just see, you know, it's so easy to get these upgrades for the Orc. They do so much extra you know when you have the hh he doesn't have that many hh but usually you see like level two or level three uh damage upgrades all right so he knows there's an expo now for sure and you know i didn't even see this earlier but i guess getting plague i call it plague it's disease cloud getting advanced creature attack he has no wood not that he really needs more wood now, but if he ever tries to, like, chain morph destroyers, that may be a problem if he's already got other stuff, like, right there on Q. Now, all of a sudden, he's back down to 28 wood. Kind of need 50 for each one of those. That's true, Phoenix. But you can get some ridiculous auras still. He doesn't. I looked over there already. He doesn't have Banshees. You made it over there, though. Just it's not out yet. Alright, so this is really Penguin's chance. I think the longer this goes, the more it's going to favor the undead. Even though usually 
that's a crazy stop and now the silence comes out a little bit late he's nuking the tc down which is okay because he's got an invol pot if you use it there you go but now the sh is out of mana he doesn't have anything to no mana pots so this tc has one more stomp in it and then it's probably going to die unless he backs out but that invol pot lasts forever the tc the torn standing up front nice and strong the middle was crap though. I didn't even see what the item was. Was this sold? No. Okay, it's the Lich, probably. Plus 12. Yeah, look at that. Plus 26 damage with only two claws and or He needs more. He needs more damage. That's not enough. So that was a very, very good fight for Penguin. He got a decent amount of XP on that TC. It's all of a sudden, you know, a few more Fiend kills. Destroyer dies. Suddenly he's level 3. Gets a lot more scary. He's got uh, Torrent out now, which are scary as crap. However, Monk is pumping out those Banshees. He's even getting two Temples of the Dam, which is kind of interesting. I'm not sure if he gets level 3 off that, Freeman. I don't think so, but he would get much closer, you are right, if he took the green right over here. I don't, I don't think it would give level 3. I could be wrong. Real casters would actually know that. Nope. He didn't eat anything. That's been a problem the whole time, Lucker. He ate, like, one fiend all game, and then his Kodo died. And I haven't seen him eat again. Penguin now broke upkeep. He's now at 81 out of 92 food. Monk is taking the middle. The Banshees. All right. So he went double temple. And he's just going. Okay. What is that? He's just going in for the curse, it looks like. He's not trying to, like, possess or anything. Um, Penguin does have master walkers. Which are always nice, but he only has one. So you can't dispel curse on this whole army. And also raise back up your Torrin, which are probably going to die. You know, I mean, he only has one destroyer, but you can name those down. It kind of sucks, but eventually. Once Monk does get up those Banshees, though, it's that's scary. And you can see the curse now. This Necropolis is perfectly placed. It's blocking this TC. The TC can't do anything and it's getting aimed down. He didn't use any of the pots. He didn't use the invul pot and it died at level 2. That Necropolis, now he cancels it because, hey, why not? I need more space to come in and attack. And it was being aimed. And suddenly, I don't know what Monk's doing there. That's so BM, Monk. Jesus. Oh, no, he didn't use the invul pot on his... Oh. Penguin kind of fell apart this fight, and suddenly Monk just takes the win. Monk with the BM, Fiend, Burrow. Ah, eh, not really. If anyone's ever watched Monk, you've heard his clicking away on his keyboard. He totally just accidentally hit a button. So that was game one. I don't know what the other maps are, though. All right. They're being daring and using the same game name. I'm pretty sure sometimes that ends up being bugged. So hopefully, no. Why do you guys all know the map pool, but I don't? Did they post it somewhere or, like, was, like, you know, Monk? Oh, they did this a while ago, didn't they? So he's been literally training on the same three freaking maps, hasn't he? Some people pick the maps right before. Some people pick the maps when they first message their opponent. So I'm guessing Monk picked the maps right away. So he knew what three maps. And he's probably like, yeah, Phoenix just said, played 50 games against him alone.
Let's just see. I'm I'm also Phoenix uh Phoenix Penguin's coach, so I'm just trying to check to see what he said. All right. Well, apparently he was ready. I was checking the chat to see. I was going to say something, but yeah, you know, like you can go back and say, hey, change this or do something this. I was going to say kind of what Lucker said, which is he's very passive. But no. He said, screw it. Let's play. All right. So I'm guessing CL. CL Expo out of Monk. It is like such an easy camp to take so why not the other option is northern isles great that's another dh map but penguin should know this i think penguin knows that cl is kind of something he's been practicing just because i know penguin has literally sat in the uh voice chat while monk is playing you guys so Unless you guys, like, totally threw him off with something different, he should know. We'll just have to see if he reacts correctly. And as Phoenix says, give him the old farcier headhunter. Well, yeah, there you go. It's happening. I mean, he should know. Like, on a map like this, it's such an easy expo. That for sure you gotta be watching at least out for it. Oh, pro... I don't know how to do that without minimizing. Sorry. And I heard a creep die. Yeah, he poked the hell out of creators. The creators are dead. Phoenix, you're like someone who should get, you know, kicked out for talking. No, I don't care. Not much to say. Got to see how things go. I didn't even look. It's just assumed. It is CL. Monk's probably done this like 20 times. I agree. Please fire me. I would have so much more free time. Holy crap. I went to bed at 4 a.m. yesterday or today because of GNL. <laughs> Gotta get my five views on YouTube, yo. All right, so he's going directly over with three goals. Got one left back. He doesn't have his acolyte over here, so he can't put down an auto zig, which is actually decent. Um, Penguin might be able to come over, be a little bit annoying, and stop the Zig from going up, or at least slow it down a little bit. Oh, nice. He did grab some of that XP. And he's just ignoring the Zig. He's just going for the ghouls because, well, CL can't actually heal. He should be able to heal. They should probably buff the CL to allow him to heal ghouls, but not yet. All right, so he's putting down two zigs before going any farther. Um, during all this, all right, pretty standard timing to tech. And Monk's just got to babysit this. He's not level 2 yet. He can't really come out here and, like, impale. When the Nurub Tower comes out, he can start surrounding. Until then, he's just trying to get it up. That was a nice cancel. Monk is also doing one thing that was very nice, and you don't see it that often. Is he just took his CL, went up, and started poking the HH, and suddenly it's at half-life. If... Monk gets one more kill on a wolf. He's level two. He has 120. Will he have even more? Well, there you go. 
I didn't even see this. Right down here, he's split creeping. You know how hard it is to like ramble on and on nonsensically like I do and also look at the map, Phoenix? At heart, I have orc brain. Our player's forces are under attack. Oh no, he's he just walked into a surround. He can get a ghoul on the way out. Maybe that was just all a mind game to trade a ghoul for a TP. Damn, Phoenix OBM just leaving after talking crap. About me, not about the players. I'm still not used to this map. Like, that is smart to split creep over here because while you're camping over here, you want to get that level two. Maybe Phoenix doesn't, or Penguin doesn't realize it, gets the impale. All right, so Fire Lord. I was like, when's the hero coming out? But no, it's a Fire Lord. You know, that's, that is something you can and could do versus a strategy like this. And Monk knows these timings because he literally walked over here just to walk this way. This is what I mean with Monk. He is crazy. He plays games. He knows his timings. However, this really isn't a lot here. He is pulling some more ghouls, but there's only four more. He does have impale, like I said earlier, and that could be crazy, especially with the critters. He's not getting the split. Okay, he didn't get the split. That's huge. You really want to get this Fire Lord, like, you know, rolling, and Monk just kind of neutered it. He doesn't have any more mana now. He's leaving this lava spawn out front. If it gets slowed by the Nerub Tower, it could probably get surrounded again. All right, so Monk's doing all right because you can see all of these HH are getting very low. And level three means these Karen Beetles are insane. So Monk holds. And looks like he's just saying, well, I'm going tier three. It's reasonable. But I think that's in response because you can see the timing of it. Well, my push didn't work. I do this. All this pressure, though, was very nice. He has no wood. He's not going tier three. There's no way he can go tier three right away. He's got a ghoul just, ghoul just sitting here. He's pulling back more ghouls. He doesn't even have his graveyard up yet. So while it didn't look great, that did a lot of damage behind the scenes that you didn't really know about. The problem is, at least in my opinion, Fire Lord sucks. If it doesn't work the first time and it doesn't maybe get like one more push out of it, over time, it's going to be like, I really wish I didn't have a Fire Lord and I had something more relevant. Alright, so you see the second Necro going down. Or second Crypt, then the second Necropolis. But he can't go Tier 3. So we'll probably see some Fiends coming out soon. But he can't even get those yet. Graveyard, not done yet. So he's done and he's stuck with some really crappy ghouls. However, he's not going to have a wood problem for much longer. It's insane how much wood he's going to be able to mine during this time. Yeah, already, uh, you know, complaining about wood problems, and he's all of a sudden at 400 wood. Going all this, Penguin is going to get his expo up. Going Shaman. Kind of Kiwi cocky ish Not really, but let's see. Alright, so DK out. You know... Okay, and this is the pain in the ass part that everyone loves. I'm like, yeah, he's getting his X-Ball. On the bright side, he can cancel this. 
And then just get a, you know, one that automatically builds. You better cancel it. Okay, thank God. Yeah, let's watch the burrow die now. Rip. Spoiler, it dies. So... He hasn't gotten a third hero. And he is not going back to grab a tiny great hall. So I don't know if that just means he's abandoned faith in that strat of expoing. Doesn't want to anymore. And Purge makes it so he can somewhat kill these, but not really. You know, it'd be great if he just, like, LS'd his FS. Or, well, LS something else since it's on the FS. And just put it right there. <laughs> this is really where things start to... Okay. Well, luckily, he put his Fire Lord back here. And he brought his Shaman. So, I was going to say, this is where things get to be a real pain in the ass. And you saw he picked up the all, but there is a Karen Beetle here. Hopefully, he does. Okay, good. I was gonna say hopefully this doesn't like block it if you try to put it over here. Might have a little bit. So during all this, he's just sitting here like he's like I gotta get this off. These beetles are a pain in my ass. Suddenly, it went from a 3-1 hero to a 4-2 hero, and he went and got Scourge Bone Chimes, which won't really do much with his army comp, but it's good to sell. Alright, so Berserker is up. Karen Beetles being annoying. He does have a purge now, if he wants to use it. Okay, that was actually nice. He pulled those out because he wanted the XP for it. The DK is getting very close to level 3. Yeah, so all the orcs are currently complaining, uh, complaining saying... This orc is screwed. He probably is. I won't lie. But it's not over yet. Let's see if he gets... Okay, he's going to get... Is he going? Pick. We're going? We're not going? Now, I do want to say this, and I said I was going to talk about in game one. Like, I, I talked about Monk being a beast. But Penguin, two seasons ago in GNL, he was on my team. And he was 1450 MMR. And I remember that because we wanted to put him against Badu, and Badu was like, was like 1300 at the time. He's like, that's crazy. And I'm trying to compliment him, and he lost an HH to a creep. I was going to say, he's brought himself up to 1650 this season in MMR. So he's been improving greatly. And, well, I guess that HH was just made up for by the Legion Doomhorn. The problem is, maybe in a later game that would have helped, but... Right now, Monk's coming in with a huge-ass army, and... Oh, no. That impale. Suddenly, everything's gonna die. I shouldn't compliment people, because then bad things happen right after. So, we put Monk... I mean, Penguin, up against a monster. I could look in his main, Phoenix, but... I'm guessing it was bad. We put Penguin up against the monster in Monk, and Penguin stepped up to the challenge. Penguin, um, I should say Monk has been playing orcs that are higher MMR than Penguin and beating them. But that's because Monk trains like no other. If this was the beginning of the week, this would have been a different game, different series. I don't know how we do it. Or I don't know how he does it. But that was a very good series. Um, Penguin definitely had his opportunities, especially game one. He like, you know, we can sit here and talk about Monk being great, and you know, like you see all the 
well, if you're on right now, the orcs in chat all talking about Monk kicking their ass and whatnot. But game one, Penguin definitely had his shots all the way until the end. But that last fight was just in a horrible spot. He lost his heroes for no reason, really. Frankly, there, there's no reason that they should have died um, the way they did. And he just got massacred. So one bad fight can flip things, and suddenly it's 1-0, and then suddenly it's 2-0, and that's the end of the series. 